So which needles should you be using for microblading? And this is a great question that directly relates for the heel result being blurry or crisp because of course every artist wants to get the crisp hair strokes on the heel result and nobody wants to get a patchy blurry blue result and a kind reminder if you have any questions you can reach out to us on instagram learn beauty slash or beauty slash and as always remember this is a monday's learn with beauty slash with every monday tutorials so remember to subscribe to this channel so let's talk about microblading blades and difference between brands so the first key point using microblading blade should be of course how do you think well the thickness of course if you're using needle you're going to create two blurry cut which will result in a bad healing for the client and that will result in a blurry healed pictures so you would want to use very thin nano needles to create as less trauma as possible as less tiny cut as thinner cut for the crisp healed hair stroke that's why 0.15 millimeter or even 0.14 to 0.15 millimeter as in nanoflow beauty slash needles would be the best the second key point would be the material that this microblade is made of. So the best is if the blades are made from the highest grade medical material. This will ensure that your clients are safe and nothing wrong is left in the microblading cut. Okay, so let me open the Nanoflow Beauty Slash. going to show you another factor that you have to look at when you're buying microblading blades so i'm just going to take out the blade so first of all you need to look out for these numbers for this icons and then also you would have to look for the number of sterilization over here if your blades do not have it i suggest do not purchase those blades now a lot of times i also get asked what is the best number for the pins the needles that are combined together in a blade so because this needle is very thin actually you can see that even after 18 blades being combined together it is still small so this particular blade has 18 needles with of course diameters 0.14 millimeter to 0.15 millimeter and another key point and a question that i could ask is whether to choose the round needle or flat so definitely for natural looking hair stroke i suggest the round one because it can create more round strokes the flat one if you're going to create the round strokes it can make the cut a little bit bigger that will look blurrier at the healed result so to sum up the thickness of the needle matter the number of pins matter only if the thickness is not thin then the round or flat i suggest to pick the round and of course the sterilization number for the needles and the material the needles are made from. So all these key points you have to keep in mind when choosing the microblading blades. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope you are excited for the next tutorial on next Monday's Learn with Beauty Slash.